guys, it's me again, Mindsy, welcoming you with my warm hug today. So today, guys, we're gonna be making a reflection video about um, the preaching yesterday that is the, that we have a title, Live a Victorious Life. So that's a reflection for today. So um, yesterday, um, we meditate on the verse of in Exodus 17, verse 8 to 16. That's what I remember writing it is. Exodus 17 verse um, 17 8 to 16 so um, what's going on in Exodus 17 is all about um, the war of Amal Amalekites and the Israelites so in the verse it says that um, Moses um, put his hands up so you know um, he's holding the, the staff of God and then so whenever he put up his hands then the Am Amalekites you know um, lost you know they're losing the battle and the Israelites are winning but then if you know he gets tired you know by putting his um, his hands down that is where the Amalekites are winning the Israelites are losing so and then and he Moses had to hold it until sunset okay so that's long time imagine you guys holding your hands up like that in the you know in uphill you know that will make you make you tired of course yeah you know and then but her and Aaron was there to help him out and so both his arms so Aaron is on the other side and then um, her is on the other side to help him out so that his hands and the staff remain on the uh, on the on the top here remaining like that so anyway guys um our um our big idea for today's um, reflection is victory rest upon the lord so guys when we when we say that victory rests upon the Lord, is that my takeaway from that big idea is when you surrender, you know, like always it is already won. If it is God's battle, it, that is God, you know, it is already won. We're all we're winning, always on, on winning side, like what um Pastor said. So then you know that's um, my takeaway with the big idea but then of course um we're gonna be talking more about um the key points that is connected with the with the big idea you know this is um interesting very interesting topic and um i like it because you know um not only our faith but how we surrender our all to the lord all our battles to the lord and you let the lord do it for you so if you're ready um, we're gonna we're gonna go to key point number one. So Pastor gave um, number one is face the battle in faith. So you know, guys, um, I believe that um, when you face your problems in life or, or all your struggles in life, you, you know you have um, your your not only your faith. I wish I can explain it more. You know, it's like. You can never hide, you know, you can never hide on your problems, you know, you gotta face it. And because because when we face it, guys, we, and we have faith to the Lord, you know, that is where the Lord will, will start to give us wisdom. How are we gonna accept the problem, you know, how, how we're gonna handle it. You know, like um, Pastor said that um, if we, you know, God will always be on our side. You know, if we have God in our heart, the battle has been already won. That's why, you know, like um, Pastor said, defeat only happens if we give up. So, guys, if we face our problems, you know, you can't, you cannot, it is there already. Okay, it is there already. We cannot just hide and give up from from whatever is happening in our life we need to face it because that's we're we're going to receive um god's um provision if we accept what it is and we have undeniably faith to god that he will do something about it it is not as we need to figure things out guys you know but then it is god 
who will um you know who will be our banner like what um Moses said when you know he made the altar in in verse 16 you know um he said that um the Lord is my banner you know the Lord is the banner because um he he lift, um he lifted it up you know so pastor um uh, made an illustration illustration it's a map it, you know that's from there's like a certain cities or locations but a uh, refidim is there you know and um it's refidim and then mount sinai this is going to the promised land but of course every city they face problem you know it, life is like that you can never you, you don't achieve even at work you know we don't achieve achieve something that we didn't work hard for you know so um it, it is god's provision for you if you have faith to the lord then you know like the israelites you know there's a lot of things going on refidim but then if they didn't if they give, gave up then they're not gonna make it to the promised land like the israelites they face their problems with faith because they believe that the lord is with them you know um God, and from all that they've been through in from egypt whenever they go the lord never left them you know they were also with moses so there's no any reason god will not um bring us like the israelites will not bring them in that place without god providing something in any way water food you know um everything guys god makes miracles because like what i learned you know god will not bring you somewhere that you're not equipped that you don't have something to for to fight with there is always something you know when you face the battles god has something to provide for you to an instrument you know it could be a lot i don't know what kind of instrument is that but god will bring you something guys for you to face the battle key point number two it says that find the right people guys i like that key point because you know um like um pastor said that may, we have to make sure that we are in the right crowd you know what may i you know what i always believe that um it is only two things you know guys it's either that you bring that person to the lord or that person will bring you down away from the lord i always believe in that guys so um like in my experience i pray to the lord lord give me the um i, I seek i seek the lord you know i ask him um to put me in the right place when if you ask that to god guys to bring you in the right place you know then the lord will give you the right people for you to um uh be happy with you know like right now i'm very happy with the family and friends that i have now in my life i may be a single parent and maybe a single mom but it is never a problem for me to have someone to be with you know i prayed it to the lord and the lord gave it to me some people you know we have all different kinds of prayers and requests to god some people they're um praying to god to give them someone who can they share their life with you know and there's nothing wrong with that because that's what you feel in your heart but for me um only i pray to the lord that lord um give give me people that will love me and my daughter and god answered me you know that's why i may not be i may not have um, a partner in life that i can share my love with but i have a lot of them all of them to love me and my daughter you know N you can talk to them whenever you want to not only one person but there's a lot of people who loves you who loves me and Zumir that i can share my david my cousin my friends my extended family a lot of people you know so um this is just the matter um how will you um have good friends and or you're in a good crowd that will bring you much closer to the lord and you will serve the lord you will serve with them you will serve the lord with them also pastor said that don't, don't isolate yourself and i always believe on that guys because you know i believe in the saying we may not find it in the bible i'm not sure you know if it is from the bible but 
um, there's a saying that um, no man is an island. I think it is not in the Bible. It's only a quotation, but I like the quotation. True, no man is an island, you know. All of us need help. That's in the Bible. It says that all of us need help. So, you know, guys, um, never isolate yourself. Because, guys, from, you know, like, not only in my experience, but the experience of my, um, my other friends, you know, who... Um, um, who tells me what that um, when they isolate themselves, you know, instead, because you know, the more we are weak, that is where the enemy is prone to use that. If we isolate ourselves, guys, I don't know how to explain, you know, but I'm trying my best to speak in English, guys. <laughs> and I wish I can tell to you guys in Tagalog, but I want to extend the message to everyone so everyone can understand. You know, never isolate yourself, guys. All of us need help, okay? Especially um, if we isolate ourselves, it's either we're gonna think bad things or we're gonna think godly things, you know? If we get you know while when we isolate ourselves you think god did things then that's good if not then you know it's we need we need um someone to build up one another because we're only human you know we cannot say you know guys let I have to tell you the truth i there i have a lot of friends family who ask advice you know but then that doesn't mean that i am not weak I am weak, and also I have um, family and friends who I can share my um, my emotions with. You know, I tell them, "Oh, this is what are happening," and like this, like, like that, la la la. And then you know, they encourage me as well. It is it is vice versa. You know, um, the the love that and the advice that you give to the people, you get it back as well. Because all of us we have weakness in life even me you know uh, even people come with me and ask me about this like that I, I i have those days guys as well you know i have those days and i'm blessed to have because you know if you put your happiness to the lord you know the lord will give you the right people that you can share your your life with you know? so that's the same with me um if i have my days i talk to them to my family and my friends who encourage me you know because encouragement is very important for us to stay connected to god and also guys i like um you know the verse that says um i forgot the verse but it says that an o um it is better to have an open rebuke you know because you know guys um when our friends or family um give us an advice that is something that we cannot be mad with because those people love us because those people want us to be, to be corrected the the first the some people that will tell you you know you rebuke oh okay it's like this you re, you rebuke a, a wise person because that person will love you then when you rebuke to the person that is you know like um close-minded something like that they will hate you you know so that's in the bible i anyway i'm gonna put it in the screen so that you guys um can read more about it so i don't want to say um different things you know especially when it comes to the bible but anyway i'll put it, I'll put it in the screen i'll make it correct so any something like that so you know guys um and before as we have pride you know but then um right now i'm happy that um if i am um got get corrected it's a plus because that makes you wise so key point number three is fight in the name of the lord so like what i said earlier that moses said that he made an altar and named it um jehovah nisi jehovah means you know that's one uh that one of god's name because um god is um yahweh um jehovah you know that's those um a lot of names and Nisi means banner, you know, that's, you know, that's why Jehovah Nisi. So when we pray to the Lord, it you can say it, Jehovah Jireh, like the Lord is my provider, Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is my banner, something to tell the Lord, you know, it's, it's nice to call him in his name, you know, and anyway, the Lord knows us, knows what's the very inside of our heart like um what's happening to moses you know aaron and her help him to put his hands up so guys um you know what i understand about what pastor said not only um 
you need the foundation but you need what's in the roots you know deep roots um deeper faith you know because if you have that deep faith guys like what i said god will provide to you what you need okay if you don't need to figure it out god will give it to you so you know fight in the name of the lord and um very important guys listen to god's voice you will know that if it is, comes from the lord you know and from the enemy like you have to be careful because you know the enemy wants is an angel he the enemy knows what's in the scripture as much as jesus knows what's in the scripture the enemy knows that you have to be careful guys we cannot say oh it's a miracle of god it's like this but then on the sideways we do think that it's not pleasing to the lord you know miracles from, comes from obedience and faith you will know that guys you will see that guys god will oh my gosh i don't know how i'm gonna explain it but i just in my, my heart is so full that you know god show, show me a lot of miracles you know guys um i don't know if you have watched the video but that was on my video um that all miracles happen just one day but then you know guys um i just feel so blessed you know if god did it in me it he will definitely do do that to all of you to all of us but guys seek god first seek his name and um be obedient to him have a deeper faith guys like what um pastor said it, what is you know is it that comes from the lord the foundation or you know is it from the roots like the other day we had our prayer rally and um you know um i feel so blessed that i had an opportunity to pray for the single moms and single dads you know and i'm so happy i was so nervous yes but then you know i feel the whole i feel the holy spirit i'm speaking what the holy spirit what the lord wants me to tell to tell everyone so that's what i feel in my heart when i we were praying that time and um pastor um said you know he made an example how you know you have to exercise your faith guys he said that it's like going to the gym you know you then you don't get your muscles or you don't get um you know good body by going to the gym only one time so it is like our faith to the lord we don't get the transformation that we need to get if we only have faith to the lord just one time it is continuous you know we have to exercise our faith to the lord so you know that's one of the things that i remember um from the prayer from the prayer rally last time so guys before we end this video um as always we're gonna um i'm gonna say my, our bible verse of the day um is um um one of my favorite now you know because there's a lot of um bible verse that i haven't known before but now i know you're gonna get all the wisdom that you need to get there and 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 i love it so um the bible verse comes from 1 corinthians 15 verse 33 and it says bad company corrupts good character there you go so that is very true guys bad company corrupts good character so even if we have a good character but then the the crowd the people around us are bringing us down and away from the lord then it will corrupt our good character maybe me us be the light in their life through jesus through god and the holy spirit or you know and not and not them bringing us down pulling us down away from the light away from the lord so if we think that we cannot you know um encourage them because you'll see to the in the person if he is seeking god he's seeking god or no so you have a choice you have a freedom to cho of choice to choose who the person you want to be with but then guys expand our encouragement to others so people a lot of people um will know jesus and his works and father god jehovah yahweh and the holy spirit you know guys they're only one so and you know we believe in that and anyway guys that's it for today um sorry it's kind of long but i just wanna um give my um my reflection um pieces by pieces so you guys will understand but trust me i will try my best to um speak english fast because i know we have limited time to do this but anyway guys um before we finally end the video i'm gonna put there in the screen um the the link for from yesterday's preaching from the from saturday's preaching so um 
that's it for today guys um if you have if you want to be encouraged more please visit our website in hope of the city church we also have in youtube we also have in facebook and um yeah you can there's a lot of um encouragement that you can um watch with that will you know surely hit our heart you know and you'll never know guys one of those videos god will use that for us to see him more clearly so that's it for today guys bye bye and i hope you enjoy the video till my next vlog